Welcome Sagittarius to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 6th of May for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. On the screen now I'm showing your event chart right at the start of the week which provides some idea of what we can expect. Jupiter, your ruler, is inching away from Uranus. So they came together within three degrees over the last two days of March, but exactly across the 20th or the 21st of April, depending on where you're located. But now they are edging apart beyond that three degree conjunction. And later this month, Jupiter is going to be moving into your sector of relating, which occurs on the 25th, ushering in a very exciting last 10 days, to be honest, of the month, because on the 20th, the Sun will be moving, Venus then moves into your seventh house as well. So the accent will be very much on relationships towards the end of this month. But this week, Jupiter being in your sixth house with Uranus and Venus is augmented by the Sun merging with the Moon. So the new Moon, which occurs on Wednesday, suggests that if you have been struggling with vitality, a rather, uh, a rather frustrating or unpredictable set of circumstances around the daily routines of your life or your work, it's possible that you get an opportunity now to reset in a much more constructive way because as much as Uranus for the last five years or so has been causing at times a little bit of chaos, Saturn over the last year has been making your emotional world seem more oppressed by any instability. But now it all comes together in a much more meaningful and constructive way. And you often thrive when the vibe is positive. So Saturn feeding into the new moon on Wednesday is a good news story. But the sixth house is about those everyday matters. It can be about organisation. If you are someone who likes to have your home very neat and tidy, maybe that's not going to be how this particular influence presents itself. If you're someone who tends to be a bit a bit more laid back like we are, this would be a great opportunity to declutter, tidy up, take some clothes you don't need to a charity shop and create more space and the energy will flow around more. If you are someone who's got all those areas covered, it may be some changes to what you eat or just freeing yourself up in some way from some obligations that have become a little bit too challenging. But the other great takeout this week for you personally, Sagittarius, is that Mars and Pluto are in a fantastic alliance still, right at the start of the week. So your physical vitality, your enthusiasm are really going to be fed by that. So whatever practical strands you do need to grapple with, uh, you can do so with much greater uh, gusto. And also by the end of the week, it's Venus that links very productively to Saturn. Sometimes in relationships, it's the thoughtful, practical gestures that we carry out that mean as much as the more emotional or even romantic gestures in a, an intimate tie. And I feel that that's what Venus's sextile to Saturn can remind us of. If we do things to help people, whether it's at work or at home, it can be appreciated. So a big week, I feel, to make sense of some of the unsettled, unstructured and settling uh, energies that have prevailed in recent times and see how far you've come within all of that. But also, you're just going to feel much more fired up in terms of your personal energy. Have a great week, Sagittarius. And if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you help it grow by doing so now.